Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome back to Home Life with Rebecca. Well, today was the first day back to school for all of my kids except for Tiffany and Allie's college stuff got really messed up. That's a whole another story. But of course, Kennedy has woken up with pink eye. Um, I don't think it's from like poop. I think she has a cold and she's got snot and she is rubbing, rubbing it into her eyes. So I had to battle with her this morning to clean her eyeballs and put drops in it so she cannot go to school. I'm making some fried eggs for some of the kids, but yeah, <laughs> already a semi sick kid in the house after Christmas break. Fun times. I just, cause my mom called me the bus, cause my bus is good. I'm sick. Yeah, did I have to call your bus? Mm -hmm. Tell them not to come. Now I gotta call your school too. To your school too. I can't talk today. And tell them that you're not feeling good. You going to school, Wes? Yeah, Wes. Usually going to school. Okay, I got your egg. Do you want a banana or an apple no, with it? I'm fine. How about, do you want a piece of toast? Nope. Nope. Right here. Come on. One egg or two eggs? Two eggs. Can we all just agree that this is a massive cat? This is why Garfield is a ginger cat. Because ginger cats are notoriously massive. Binks, you're a big kitty. Oh, hello, Jack. You look like a statue. So I was gonna make a day in the life video and I totally forgot to film today, but I wanna give you guys something because tomorrow's Tea Tuesday. I wanted to show you all my coloring pages because I um, have two more pages to color in this. I'm hoping to finish it tonight and then share this with you tomorrow. And then I did have an idea for another vlog. I found all of my old diaries. I'm talking old. So I'm 46. I'm going to be 47 in March. Uh, the oldest diary that I had that I found was from seventh grade. So I thought, would that be a fun video if I read some of the things out of my old diaries? I don't know. Let me know. But what I thought I'd show you today is my planners. I finally started them. So the kindest one is just a, like a lined notebook. So I'm just using it as a journal. So I kind of don't want to show you everything. Well, I've only written two entries. It's the eighth, <laughs> stay the eighth. But my office, I don't want to show you what I've written because it's personal, but I just put like the date with the sticker up there. And then at the very bottom, I put some more cute stickers. And then I did the same for today because I wrote in it some. But I'm just using this kind of like, a, oops, I haven't even taken that off. I'm just using this as a diary, a mood tracker, maybe a habit tracker, um, just to kind of whatever I'm feeling. So, yeah, so there's that. And then the budget, um, what do you call it? The budget planner I started today. Should have started it on the first, but I didn't. Um, and I realized... Because I, I didn't buy this stuff that this could be used as a, an everyday planner as well. It's not just budget stuff because it's got the monthly spread and the weekly. And, but this is a classic size. And then this journal is a classic size. Also, or notebook. So the budget journal is tricky for me because, like I said, we only get paid once a month. And then Kennedy's SSI that she gets. So... I guess it's technically twice a month, but hers isn't like a lot. It's usually grocery money, but it does have like a, people call this a currently page. So it's got unexpected spends and like this area under here where it says important, says important where they wrote it in, but I had a cute sticker. And then my plan, I think it says, okay, this little section right here and all the months says take note. So, but I like these little stickers. I've had these stickers since last year. I used them in my other journal. I just put Be Fearless. Obviously, I haven't filled this out. I need to. This, I don't know if I'll end up filling out. I don't know if we have any unexpected spends. But, you know, 
knock on wood, things always happen. So, and then I'm just going to write things that are important to me this month. And then just kind of my plans, how I want to um, use this planner, how I want to track our spending, be better about it. Maybe something I want to save up for. And then this is the monthly spread. So I put some goals down. And then I just wrote down when everything was due, like on those dates. Um, the reason why I used a highlighter, because I thought I had a lot of stickers. I thought I had a lot of stickers, and I do, but I don't. Um, this can be a very expensive hobby <laughs> if you're not careful. And I tend to be, for some reason, when I write, or make cards or do anything that's involving stickers or markers or colors I tend to go overboard where I don't like uh, blank spaces on the paper I want to fill it up my sister's like that too which is why I think we were so drawn to the junk journaling um, so I have to be careful because if you do that then you're gonna use all your stickers up really really fast especially because I have the the big happy planner this is the the big one so i'm gonna have to learn to kind of it's okay to have blank spaces if you're a pen pal of mine you know i go overboard on the stickers <laughs> i feel like everything has if there's one over here then there's definitely gotta be one here then you might as well have two more at the bottom so everything lines up but in doing that with the planners i gotta be careful because like it's not it's not cheap and with the budget planner and you're trying to be frugal and save money and having no spend months then that would totally defeat the purpose okay so it's got um where you just write down all your monthly bills and i just use little tiny stickers your income it's got a savings tracker and then your accounts and debts which i haven't filled out because i forget which credit cards we still have open that need to be paid off so i'm going to write down that there and then you can put like if you're going to do a no spend challenge or you can just use cover it up with a different sticker and do what you want over there and then it's got your week by week expense can you guys see this the lights really bad like to track all your receipts like all your expenses everything you buy and the sticker book is really really cute um it's not a very big sticker book so like i said it, it would go fast if i try to use a sticker on every single thing but and you know it's got the little payday sticker i used one <clears throat> but i mean they're really cute let's see i used these when i was filling out the monthly like what all our bills were it's got the little icons um so this one i'm just trying to figure out how i want to work it obviously i haven't started on january 1st i might skip this week and start this week just because we got paid on the December 20th and I want to start in the new year I don't know if that makes sense so I might just start it now so I don't know I'm not sure I mean I have my receipt so I technically could write it down but it's kind of already passed so we'll see and then after the weekly ones at the very end it's got a take note section a check it off section and then can't read sideways a don't forget section and again you can use that however you wanted to and then this has got like a bullet journal type page where you can write down whatever you want to like or maybe just a reflection on how your month went um so yeah i mean if you're looking at getting something like this and you want to do like a plan or two this can definitely be used as both you don't need to get a planner and this because you can use this as both. With that being said, you could also use a regular planner because they have the classic ones too and the mini ones and put your budget stuff in here too. The only thing is I do like the weekly expense thing that it has in here um, because even with the notebooks, I would struggle keeping things lined up or in order or write the date wrong. Um, and then in my last little planner, I had a budget section, but it wasn't big enough. As frugal as I tried to be, because I've never done a no spend month. I don't know if I'll try to do no spend month. It's really hard when you have six kids that are teenagers. And they're, that's why I left the unexpected um, box blank. I like that part of this because things always seem to come up. Um, 
and I would always run out of room and then I would get discouraged and stop tracking. So hopefully this, this part will help in that. So for the happy planner, I was really nervous to start this because I wanted it to look perfect and it's not going to ever look perfect. So finally I had to stop watching YouTube videos because they're good to get ideas and to figure out like maybe what kind of spread you want to do or themes. But all it was doing was giving me anxiety, anxiety to start because I'm like, oh, this looks so good and mine's going to be ugly. And B is making me just want to buy more stickers, which is not a good thing right now. Um, so my, I did get my daughter Tiffany one. She, it's so funny people's reactions because I showed my oldest daughter one and she was wanting one for school, but she says she doesn't want anything like this. She just wants a regular planner or just a notebook so she can, she likes to do like the bullet journals because she's really good at like drawing and everything. Um, she knows how to make straight lines. <laughs> she's just good at that kind of thing. That's the way her brain works. She likes to lay it out and make it her own. I'm not good at that. So when she saw what I did, cause she, it's so funny. Cause like I said, in, in real life, I'm very not minimal, but I don't like a lot of clutter. I tend to get rid of a lot of things or get bored really easy. But when I write or journal or anything like that, I, every little space needs to be taken up. And then my oldest daughter is a lot like my sister where every inch of wall space, um, you can squeeze some furniture in there, or hang stuff on the walls and, collect all the things and not that they're messy, but they just, they, they like that. But at least for my oldest daughter, my sister's more like me with the writing. She likes it very minimal. Like I said, with the bullet journal, she likes to lay it out by herself. Just use a few stickers here and there. If she uses stickers at all. And it's just very minimal. It's just so funny how it's flip flopped. Um, so when she saw what I was like, come look at my happy planner and tell me what you think. She was like, she was like, whoa, whoa. She's like, that was a lot of stickers. <laughs> She's like, that was a little bit crazy. I was like, I know it is a little bit cluttered. But then when I showed my daughter Tiffany, she like, that looks really cool. She's like, I, can I, can I get one? Can I do one? And this is after Christmas. I was like, I don't know. Cause they're not, it was a gift and they're not cheap. So I went, I looked on the happy planner site and even with the sales, it's not free shipping. So I'm like, let's just go check out um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and just, Maybe they'll have some on sale. So we went to Michael's first and she found a butterfly one and she wanted a big one like this and they had them for 50% off. So she got hers for $15.99. So, and then I got her a sticker book, which was also 50% off. So she was really happy. So different personalities. So I don't think my daughter Allie was saying that it was ugly. It was just not something that she would want to do, but you're going to see what I mean. I'll have to slow down on the stickers because I will not be able to afford it. <laughs> and yeah, we'll just go really fast. So I haven't seen any videos what people do with this. I'm not really sure what people write here. Maybe resolutions. I don't know. Then it's got a 2025. <clears throat> they call this like a year at a glance. Um, so you can write down like super important appointments maybe that you have. Oh, that's better. And then I just wrote down everybody's birthday. I still have a lot more birthdays to write down. And then this is my currently page. So people use this a lot to maybe write down what they're reading or watching or what their hobby is that month or, you know, whatever your goals. So I just wrote 2024. Put on watching Leave it to Beaver. And we started Young Sheldon because my daughter... My oldest daughter put Netflix on our on our living room TV. She's paying for it this month because um, we got rid of it a long time ago. And that's a pretty funny show. I don't know. I just tried to make it cute. Keep with the same color theme. This reminded me of me and Kennedy. Cause she likes the snow until it's like May and then she's done with it. Um, then I just wrote some of my resolutions right here. So that's my currently page. But see, I mean, look at how many stickers are on here it's quite a bit and then this is my monthly so I tried to keep the black and the the gold so then with this I just took from this book and I wrote down all my appointments and then I left some blank lines in case I want to do like uh, in case any other appointments come up or if I want to do like I put here like a to-do list and it's so funny because 
I did my weekly spread first and then came back to this and my eye got so used to going down like Mondays all the way down that this was supposed to be this to-do list was yesterday's on Sunday but I have it on the 21st but I mean that's fine because again this is just for me so it doesn't matter I I know what I meant to do that should have been up there but I feel like I try to keep this one more minimal than the next one. But so this is the monthly and then this is the weekly. So <laughs> this is the one where my daughter was like, well, that is a lot. But is it? I don't know. I think it looks cute. So I wrote down the super important things. Like when we went to the ice palace, I put the year again. I tried to make all the stickers and pins match. I'm not the best with like writing. I'm not like can't do like the super nice cursive or block lettering, but I still think it looks I still think it looks cute. I like the the colors and the New Year stickers. So, there's that. And then the next weekly Is this and I haven't filled out a lot of it because you know the week just started but I made it kind of like a Care Bear theme but you see what I mean like you can use stickers really fast I had to make myself stop because I just wanted to put stickers everywhere and then there'll be no room to write so I try to use um, bigger boxes or boxes like like this when I know I have more than one appointment on that day and then I just did like a little gratitude list and this box on the side and then a to-do list for this week. And I do have a little stencil. This is not a Happy Planner stencil. It's cheaper on Amazon if you are thinking of getting one. I think it was like $2.99. And I think they're like $5.99 on the Happy Planner site. So, because I cannot draw straight lines. But I thought that looked super cute. And that's it. That's all I have so far on my planners. So let me know what you think. You won't hurt my feelings. Again, I'm new at this. Um, and obviously, like, the Care Bear stickers aren't from, like, a Happy Planner sticker book. They're just stickers that I had. I went with the big Happy Plans because on Saturday, it's National Sticker Day. Like, it actually says that, like, on the calendar part, National Sticker Day. I guess it's a thing. So, that's why I use the Care Bears and the bright colors. Because, you know, I love me some stickers. And it's even got, like... I had a washi tape sticker, a little notebook sticker that my sister gave me. So yeah, so if you are thinking about getting Happy Planner, the nice thing is, is these pages rip right out and you can put them right back in. So I'll show you. Kind of cool so you can take it out and lay it on your desk so you have more room to turn it and work with it um so i like that I like that part too and i can do that in all of my other ones as well uh this one's probably my favorite one so far the one with the the care bears i guess i should so and my daughter's already she's caught up with me so she's done this week's spread and then she did last week's and then she did her monthly and her currently page also so she only has one sticker book right now so i was gonna get her another one but she didn't know she didn't really like the other ones that they have for 50 percent off so she says she'll probably buy a couple more when she gets paid or you know she can borrow from me because i don't mind sharing but i don't know i think i did okay for my first time this this one's a little bit cluttered um, but I think with the practice, I'll get the hang of it. And then, yeah. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you somebody that's very minimal if you do stuff like this? Or you just think I'm crazy? Or do you do even more stickers than I do? So, I don't know. I'd like to know. But that's it. Sorry that this didn't end up being a day in the life. Like I said, I just, I totally forgot. So I'm going to finish those two pictures so I can share my coloring book with you. I like that Life with Patty 
uses um, like post-it notes to mark down her like favorite pages or the pages that were her least favorite to color. So I thought maybe I'd go through that and do it because this is actually the first coloring book, like the adult coloring books. I don't remember when I was little that I've ever finished. Well, after two more pages, it'll be finished. But that's it. Um, happy planning, I guess, if you started your new planner. And I know of quite a few people said that they don't spend any money on stuff like this. They just use notebooks and I totally get it. I still use notebooks. <laughs> They're all over the house. We have so many just regular bound notebooks like this. In fact, I still use this one for my budget one um, because I'm always marking and scratching and erasing <laughs> and then just probably transferring it into the, the, nice, the nice one that I have that I showed you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is nothing wrong with just using notebook paper and just making it your own. So that's it. Chicken tendies and I'll hopefully chat with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Real quick. I know I already said I ended the video, but I forgot. I decorated for Valentine's Day. Took Christmas down and put Valentine's Day up. We don't have a lot, but it's cute. So I found this tablecloth at Walmart for $3.99. I wanted one that had turquoise in it to just blend in because I feel like the red blends in too much with the orange, but it's fine. They didn't have any left that were not round. So I got this. There's nothing up there. Um, some cute little heart. The window clings. And there's nothing in the kitchen but the little hearts on the window. Some Valentine pictures that Kennedy colored. And she made that when she was in kindergarten or first grade, but it's got a magnet, so I hang it up every year. It's a couple decorations. I took that lamp from the girls' room because there was nowhere to plug it in, but I kind of like it in here. I think it's kind of cute. I just hung a few hearts up, put some flowers on Adam's desk. Some more little window clings. Put out some pink blankets. I got some Valentine pillow covers off of Amazon. So I thought those were cute. You get four of them for, I think these were $10.99. I didn't realize that these were white though, but I mean, you can wash them, so I think it'll be okay. So I have all of them except Easter ones. Cause I have summer ones. Now I've got <laughs> Christmas ones and fall ones. Just a couple more pictures hanging up. I just put out some like red and pink candles. I think there's a pink one right there. I just left the red flowers up there from Christmas. I just moved some pictures around. Those are some candles from the Dollar Tree. So there's nothing new except for the tablecloth and the pillow cases. Adam's Coca-Cola truck from when he worked for Coke. Kennedy's picture from kindergarten. No, from preschool, excuse me. Um, and that's it. That's all the Valentine stuff that we have.